The Chicago Bears should not draft Caleb Williams, bro. You do not need Caleb Williams. I'm going to give you an example of teams that need Caleb Williams and teams that need a new quarterback to actually make their franchise a little bit better. If you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, you need a quarterback to make your team better. If you're the Washington Commanders, you need a quarterback to make your team better. If you're the New York Jets without Aaron Rodgers, you need a quarterback to help your franchise. You There's so many teams that are in serious situations that absolutely need a quarterback to help their franchise that desperately need a quarterback to help their franchise but yet they don't have the privilege of being able to to fluctuate and trade for the number one pick and all of these different things but a team like the Chicago Bears who already have enough at the quarterback position don't need to draft Caleb Williams it's not smart. It's not logical. Because even if you draft Caleb Williams with that number one pick, how the hell is he going to get any passes off when you don't have people to block for him or when you don't have wide receivers for him to throw the ball to? How is that going to help him? If Caleb Williams is in the backfield taking snaps from a quarterback but has nobody that can pick up six yards off the run because the O-line is garbage, how would this possibly help this? This is the logic I'm not understanding when people say, oh, you got to get Caleb Williams, you got to draft Caleb Williams. Because Justin Fields, we've seen him play with the worst of the Chicago Bears. Not many quarterbacks can have any success in that situation. And you think a guy who hasn't thrown a single pass, that in, a single pass in the NFL will make this situation better? It's, it's illogical to me to draft Caleb Williams, and it's not the smart move to do, bro, because he he's going to need pieces around him. And if you draft Caleb Williams, and even if you draft a receiver to go with it, at the end of the day, you're still going to need pieces on the offensive line and on the defense to help him out. Because there was multiple games that that Justin Fields, it wasn't his fault. He was up 10 points, 12 points, 21 points, 22 points. But he could not hold the league simply because the defense allowed the other team to continue to score and score and score and score over and over again. That's not his fault. It's only so much he can do in that situation to actually help his team if the defense is going to allow the other team to continue to score in clutch moments of the game. That's not his fault, bro. That's not going to change if you draft Caleb Williams. It doesn't matter what you do. You need defensive pieces to fix that type of issue. Situations where Justin Fields doesn't have time to throw the ball. You need offensive line help to fix that issue. It's not a personnel issue of Justin Fields, Caleb Williams, or even if you throw uh, the, the backup, Tyler Bajan or Bajan, whatever, however you pronounce his last name, even if you throw the backup quarterback in there, it's not their, the, the personnel issue at quarterback. It's the defense. They need help and the offensive line need help. So you need to trade that number one one pick and go ahead draft some talent on the offensive line or draft some talent to help out the defense that way your team can be stable and actually hold a league when your quarterback Justin Fields gets you a 10 12 point lead in the game that's the issue with the Chicago Bears it's not Justin Fields Yes, sometimes he's wishy-washy, but you think Caleb Williams is going to come in and be a Tom Brady or be, or be a CJ Stroud right away hell no that don't happen often bro I can't get behind that. I can't stand behind that. I have to see that to believe it. The answer is as clear as day. At least to me. I, I mean, at least to me, I think it's clear as day. But, you know, if you don't think it's clear as day, let please let me know. Because I need I need to understand. Maybe I need to understand an alternative perspective of this. Because this is the way I'm looking at it. But please give me another perspective. 219-413-9405. If you really believe that the Bears should not... Uh, trade the number one pick and should draft Caleb Williams, please inform me of a valid reason why and give me some support effects because I, I'm not saying this to, to try and go back and forth with you. I genuinely want to know. That's it. And this is, like I always say, this is your platform as much as it's mine. So I genuinely want to know. Give yourself, throw a smart take on here so I can share it and hear it in myself because I need to know. <laughs>